Hi, my name is EJ Massa. I thought since one of our channel's most popular videos is about craft dinner, I'd cater to the Canadian audience out there. And what's more Canadian than maple syrup? I hear you guys like drink it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner while wearing Mountie uniforms, standing in a Tim Hortons parking lot. That's my understanding of it anyway. And it sounds like a good time to me. Why'd I just wink? Anyway, so that gave me an idea to make maple glazed baby back ribs. And actually what gave me the idea is I got this maple sugar pork rub at a farmer's market from Windsor Hill Sugar House and decided to give it a try. I love maple sugar and I love maple syrup. I used to go to sugar houses and get those, those maple candies, those like maple sugar pressed into little leaves and sometimes they're pressed into make little men and I'd bite off the heads of the men and then I'd show the other maple men you know, just to, to keep them in line. Keep those maple men in line. So I picked up some all natural baby back ribs, poured some olive oil on them as a binder, and then sprinkled on some of that maple rub. It has more of an herby smell than a mapley. Like I can really smell the oregano and thyme. I patted them down and made sure both sides were covered. I decided to use the pit barrel cooker for this one. I haven't used the grate much to cook, so I'll change it up and use that. And I stuck a chunk of oak in there with the charcoal. It would have made more sense if I used a piece of maple wood, and I actually had a piece of maple wood, but I didn't think about doing that until I already put the, the oak wood in there and I was smoking for a bit. It would have been awesome, too. Layers upon layers of maple. I'm sorry I ruined the video for you, Canada. Anyways, I closed up my smoky can and let it smoke away. Oh, and I was uh, filming this B-roll at the same time I was making that smoke chuck roast from the other week. Here they are, two brothers, smoking away together. If that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, then you're truly dead inside. I mean, I'm dead inside, and I still find it beautiful. While that's going, I cut two parts Sweet Baby Ray with one part apple juice and one part real maple syrup, and I mixed it all around. I just took the Sweet Baby Ray I love so much, and I made it all mapley. And you have to use real maple syrup. You can't be caught dead in New England with Mrs. Butterworth. We'll slit your fucking throat. After about an hour and 40 minutes, the color on the ribs looked just about right, so I took them off to wrap. So I laid down some heavy-duty foil, squeezed out a bead of parquet butter, spooned on some brown sugar, and instead of honey, I'm gonna use some maple syrup. Then I laid down the ribs on this glorious bed and topped it off with another pour of maple syrup. Then I'll wrap it up nice and tight and snug as a bug in a syrupy rug. I'll place those sweet packets back on the smoker and check back on them later. Who's your favorite Canadian? Let me know in the comments. Did you say Norm MacDonald? That's correct. That's the correct answer. If it's got carrot top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box office poison. <laughs> I checked on it an hour and a half later, piercing the packet with a skewer to test the tenderness, and it goes in and out without any resistance. They're done. Take them off the smoker and... <laughs> Oh boy, they're tender. I'll dump on some of my sweet maple rays, and I'll paint them all up. I put them back on the smoker without the rebar so they can caramelize up. I reapplied some sauce after five or seven minutes, and then after 15 minutes, I think we can call them done. Oh, so beautiful. This B-roll of the ribs on the stone next to the fern. This is art. I'll cut into it, and it's super tender, and it has a great smoke ring, although this angle really doesn't do it justice. Here we go, great smoke ring. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, mmm. Okay, so it's it's slightly too tender for my tastes. It's very syrupy sweet, but actually quite mellowed out when paired with the smoke. The herbiness of the rub really shined through, and even though the ribs were too tender for me, they were like melt in your mouth tender, my family really loved them. I, I like more of a bite to my ribs, but that's just me. In fact, my family said they were the best ribs they ever had, so at least I made them happy. Me, on the other hand, I'll never be happy. So I thought it was a success, a fun maple spin on a dish I make practically every week for this channel. I wonder what other variations of ribs I could do. What kind of flavors could I do? Chocolate ribs? Strawberry ribs? Sour apple ribs? Who knows? And if you want to know what I cook day to day or you want sneak peeks at upcoming episodes of EJ Cooks, follow me on Instagram. It's basically EJ Cooks, but it cuts right to the chase with food porn photography. So that's good. Until next time, bye.